Hello my beautiful co-creators, Lilu here on the Juicy Living Tour today in Los Angeles before heading to Hawaii, beautiful, amazing Kauai, actually I just love it, this is, but we're, the paradise is right now right here, it's not just in Kauai, yeah? It's in the whole world, yes. <laughs> yes, um, I'm today with Michael, that is the uh, director, writer, producer of the three magic worlds words. words that's a big one that's a hard one for a french person to say i always mix the world and the words but mm -hmm. this very powerful movie and um you have an extraordinary story and i love how we just connected through jessica shab and other wonderful people that we both have interviewed and and connected with and how this planet is really emerging into something magnificent beyond belief you're living you're living a, you're living a dream and you had to give up a lot haven't you I have, and before we even start the interview, I've got to say I'm so happy to be here with you. Lulu Mace, you know, <laughs> and you're so beautiful, and I just want to give you a hug. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. <laughs> juicy, juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that juicy? So, yes. Um, so what, what, what did you have to overcome uh, on this journey to really live what, would you say you're, you're, you're living your life purpose? And what did you have to overcome on this journey? Um, the journey of making the movie, I, I just, uh, I started with nothing and li working a full-time job, nine to five, and uh, just I had an idea. And I didn't know how I was going to create the idea, how I was going to get it done. So I just placed myself in, into, in the film industry and went to school and um, started buying equipment and threw a green screen on the wall and, and then met with uh, a friend of mine who um, I told about the idea, Maura Hoffman, who became the co-producer. And we just started getting people in and interviewing them and didn't know what we were going to do with it. Didn't, mm. didn't know what kind of, what it was going to be. And it just started creating itself and miracles started happening around it. So I think just, uh, I, I believed in something and had an idea and, mm -hmm. and it came to be. So it, it, so it's, you're saying it started with a feeling rather than the full script and this is where we're going to go and this is what it's going to look like. Well, I uh, studied metaphysics for over 20 years and was searching for a common theme um, because I just didn't see the world wasn't the way that it, that it, it doesn't seem right to me. People were still fighting wars yeah. and it didn't make sense to me. Why, why do we think we still need to do that? I'm surprised people still think we need to fight wars. It doesn't make, it still doesn't make sense. So I wanted to find you know, all the spiritual teachings, all the ancient philosophers and, and Eastern mystics from all over the world from thousands of years have been teaching us these truths about nonviolence and love, but people just weren't getting it. So I decided to look for a common theme so people could all understand it in their language. Um, I knew there was something there, mm -hmm. but the books weren't all agreeing on it with each other because they were saying so many different ideas about love and about how to be how to become one conscious community of people that love each other. So I uh, went on on a search mm -hmm. and I was walking through a used bookstore and I came across a book. Um, by U.S. Anderson called Three Magic Words and uh, read the book and found it. Yeah, there it was. <laughs> yeah. And I said, okay, wow, here it is. Uh -huh. What am I going to do with this? And so I uh, called up my friend, Maura Hoffman, and I said, I've got an idea for a movie. And uh, this is the idea. Uh -huh. And she said, well, I happen to know all the people that know that message and know that idea. and I can get them for you. And I said, you're hired. Let's do this. Yeah. And so that's when we started putting it all together and started contacting the people. And, and it just came, started creating itself uh -huh. into a movie. Yes. So. Magnificent. I love how just the, the, I could feel the flow of it when you talk about it. It's so wonderful, so inspiring. What are some of the people that are in the movie? I know there's some of them that yes. are, been, have been featured on the Juicy Living Tour. Some of the people. Water. <laughs> water, water. <laughs> you can cut that out. No. Um, some of the people are um, Neil Donald Walsh, who yeah. inspired me, who's one of my greatest imp inspirations with the Conversations of God book series. Yeah. And uh, um, very powerful message in those books about, uh, you know, really that uh, the consciousness is all one and uh, we, are th we are that consciousness. And, and that's what the new thought, I think, is right now. And people are starting to really understand that, that, mm -hmm. that everything that exists in the universe, everything that is in matter, everything on earth is us, is conscious mm -hmm. and is one. And 
I think once everyone starts to pick up on that and they and they actually feel that mm -hmm. within them mm -hmm. and then then that's when you know it and that's when you can change yourself and you can change really change the world mm -hmm. and uh the people in it mm. so tell us about other people that are in the movie yes. um who do you have uh well there's uh and there's also uh carrie renard yeah. who wrote disappearance of the universe uh debbie ford with the ford institute um There's Max Christensen, who's one of my first teachers um, on the spiritual path, uh -huh. and he's a Taoist and a Kunlun master. And then we have a lot of gu uh, uh, gurus in the film um, from India, and you know, great to have them hear their ideas about uh, bringing in the West and the East into one yeah. understanding. Bring, yeah. You know, um, how did you select it? All these people, you said they already knew the three words, and how. How did you? How did you knew there were the ones? There were the right ones. Um, it was all about how they were living their lives, their vibration, yeah. um, their teachings. Um, now I didn't ask. I didn't tell them what the three words were when they came in for the interview. My questions were kind of were molded around uh, the three magic words, and which I can't tell you. Sorry, yeah. no. I know, we gotta, I know, I know, I can't wait. I'm just I was actually going to watch the movie right in the plane when I'm <laughs> heading to Hawaii. I can't wait now. It's just like I'm so pumped about this. <laughs> yeah, and it's interesting. A feel-good movie, finally. <laughs> People are asking me all the time, oh, can't you just tell me what the three words are? And it's like, well, then I would tell you the end of the movie. And yeah. It would, you know, don't you want to see it? But uh, after... During the questioning, you were not telling them. You were just asking about the three magic words, and they were answering? How did that work? No, I had the questions were set up uh, set up in a way that really pushed aside their ego and brought in more of their um, who th their who they are beyond their body and beyond their mind, uh -huh. and so they were able to tap into to that source uh, of the consciousness within them, um, minus the ego, minus yes. minus what they do for a living, yes. and it worked. People really said some profound things, some magical things that came from the heart, and. Uh, So, and that's what this film is about. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it really shows you a way um, to tap into that um, conscious, uh, the universal consciousness that we all um, can tap into, that, 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 that we, it connects us with who we are um, beyond our body and beyond our mind, and connect with nature and the universe and the earth. Mm -hmm. And so, and I think people are ready to, to find that and find that connection within. Yeah. And, uh, do, you, do you have a uh, advice for for us for when that ego kicks in? Because we know, we all know those moments. Is there something that you have learned, particularly through your question and questioning these people, that we can apply in our own life to step really in the heart? Absolutely. Without letting us know about the three <laughs> magic words, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, um, I just have an understanding that I have an ego and a personality that. Um, kind of developed since I was born from my upbringing and my family and from society and from belief systems. Mm -hmm. And that's always there and it's important so to be, to have an identity so you can separate yourself from other people. But um, it's really important to know that that's not really you. Yeah. You know, that we are, are, we develop that personality and that ego and that who we are is, is so much more than that. And it's important to keep yourself in check and see your oneness and connection with other people and not your separation with them because that's what's causing uh, the racial hatreds and yeah. discrimination and religious uh, sectarianism. And uh, when you see your oneness instead of your separateness, then you really feel connected and you feel love for other people. So um, for me, um, you can just remember that you're not that mm -hmm. and um, you start feeling more connected with with everything mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah because once we start seeing that we are in the other person and the other person is us then there is this uh, yeah there's this oneness clearly but there is this instant uh, it's like you can even feel the energy moving you can feel the 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 the, the similarity and then there's just pure love that is there isn't it right when you find that connection to, to the spirit that is yeah. connected connecting all of us then miracles start to happen in your life and people you meet will come in that you're supposed to meet. Mm -hmm. And a really easy way to do it is to to remember that you were born into 
your religion. You were born into it. Yeah. You know, you were born into the country you were born in. That didn't make sense. You were born into the country that, uh, and, and so it's not, you know, people get attached to their country and they get attached to their religion. Yeah. And then they identify themselves as being that. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, it's really easy to learn how to um, look beyond that and know that uh, we, be, if you take away that, if you take away your name even and what you do, um, you know, you're not, you're not even your life. Yeah. Um, and you take all that away, your life, your name, your religion, what you do, your country, you have just the self. And yeah. what, and that's what we all are. And this is, this is the new understanding that's happening. I think all around the world that people are getting it. And I, I believe that we can all get to that understanding and, and, uh, start to get along, start to love. Yeah. Where do you think we're at in the in the in the shift of this consciousness? A lot of people speak about it. Do you think we're getting any closer? Do you feel it's growing? Do you feel there is a a, a moment where we'll know really there is a major change that go on, and how is that going to show up? Yeah, I'm really excited because right now we're just coming around the corner. It's almost 2012, and people will talk about 2012 all the time about uh, the prophecies and and uh, you know end of the world and all this stuff, but. <laughs> You know, it's like, no matter what happens, one thing I know, and that is everyone is expecting a shift. Everyone is expecting a change. Because that new 2012 marks a, it's a marker in our consciousness that we know that, okay, what we should be doing something better with, with ourselves. We should be doing something better with the world by 2012. Just knowing that, that mm -hmm. we're all expecting and waiting for something, some change to occur, that is going to create a wave in the collective consciousness. And it already is. People are like, okay, here we are. We're, we're here. We're at this place where we're supposed to switch into a better world. We're supposed to become a higher consciousness, a higher dimension of thought. And uh, just knowing that, mm -hmm. I think, is enough for us to make that huge leap in, yes. in our consciousness. It, it feels sometimes, though, that there, there's a gap. Uh, and the, the, the more we move into this, the less, um, uh, I want to say, that gap really matters. Do you feel that way? I mean that um, as we are being more and more conscious ourselves without trying to change the world, we are, um, we are really uh, emanating the love and the light and, 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 and by that shift of consciousness within ourselves, just by really showing up and being who we are in life, that's impacting the world. And I feel sometimes the less we see then the disparities, they're there, but they're not affecting in a fearful way. They're just empowering you to be more, even more so of light and to be even more so present. Absolutely. And, you know, it's like, it's important that you make the shift within yourself yeah. and not have a rescue complex. Like you need to change other people and, and yeah. change the world and that you're already there. Yeah. That's the spiritual ego that, you know, and we've all had, but we've all been there. Yes, yes. But uh, it's important to lead by example and change your look within and, yeah. and find that peace within first. And then you have so much more power to change other people because they see it in you and they see, the, they see an example in you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you, the, the name of your production company is called Starseed. Can you explain us what that is all about? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you know, I grew up watching all the science fiction um, great uh, shows like Star Trek and, and Twilight Zone. And, um, and they were really my teacher. I mean, it showed me the metaphysical side of life and how we can look at the world through universal eyes, not just, you know, through earthly, our earthly existence and, and knowing that there can be so much more out there and that we don't know mm -hmm. and other life and other worlds and just waiting for us to, to kind of wake up and <laughs> all get along. So, um, yeah, they really were a conscious expansion for me. And um, the the whole Starseed um, idea, um, I started picking up in uh, a lot of books that were uh, channeled um, or by um, spiritual teachers that have written books about um, there being life on other planets or even the UFO phenomenon that, that so many people want to deny. But, uh, you know, a Starseed is, is the idea of a Starseed is someone who um, feels like they 
are from another place, that, that things aren't quite the way they should be on this planet, that there shouldn't be killing and, and uh, murder and torture and, and bloodshed and hunger and, that, and hoarding resources and uh, pollution, and that they feel like there's just something that that's not right, that that shouldn't be, that, that this, not, this is not the planet they should be on. Mm -hmm. And so they gave the name for someone who feels their connection to more to the stars or to a, a better place. They gave they gave the name of uh, Starsi, mm -hmm. and I feel like uh, uh, and there's a huge movement now around that because a lot of people feel that way. A lot of people have the same um, kind of uh, idea that it shouldn't be this way on this planet, mm -hmm. and all those people are starting to get together. Mm -hmm. So it goes along it goes right along with with uh, the new age um, ideas of uh, these children that are being born that. Uh, that have you know all these special gifts and abilities and, and and telepathy and they can communicate with each other and and no one understands them so uh, star seed is idea of the star seed is similar to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so this is your your first movie. I mean this is this is this is a this is a, this is a big one for you and it's spreading wildly. So this is very exciting. Um, and in all languages, I'm so excited to bring it to France. <laughs> I haven't, and that's what's so cool is that I haven't seen the movie. I saw the trailer, and immediately there's this knowing. I just love this paradigm, and once we trust ourselves and just know we don't need much, and I'm like, I already know I'm supposed to bring it to France and you know to the publisher that I know and some people, and. It, it, it's just so wonderful to not have to intellectualize, not have to analyze things, to really follow our heart day by day, even without explaining why you're analyzing. I mean, it's just so freeing. It's yeah. so freeing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I, I plan to um, have the, the movie translated into every major language, yeah, subtitle in every major language, um, because I think it's really important that the whole world at least hears this message. They don't have to believe it or, or understand it or even uh, hold to be truth because it's it's not even my idea and I'm not saying that uh, you have to believe what I say but it's uh, it's a common theme that all of the masters from all spiritual all spiritual uh, teachings from all religions and all mm -hmm. cultures have been telling us for thousands of years so that's the message and I think it's time for everyone to hear it and uh, so right now we have it subtitled in Japanese Arabic um, Spanish and uh soon french Nigerian. yes soon <laughs> french exactly and and you're you're shifting right now you were telling me to from documentaries to more of a movie huh? you want to really yeah. it's time to impact hollywood yeah i mean <laughs> there's only a few you only have a, a small target audiences that watch documentaries um I know that because I never really watched them myself. So I, I don't plan to do any more documentaries after this. I want to do something that is more that appeals to all my all, the, all audiences. Mm -hmm. So um, I have many other projects that I'm ready to get started after this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how do you write? How does it uh, how does it come to you, or how does it happen? Does it happen really fast, and all of a sudden you start writing the script? Or I think it's the same way for anyone who writes. It's just you get inspired by an idea. Yeah, and. Uh, I give that idea a title. And once I give it a title, it just starts writing itself. It, it takes on a life of its own. Mm -hmm. So that's how, I, that's how it happens. Exciting. Is there something else that you want to say about the movie, about your message, about something that is important to your heart to, to share today with yes. the world? <laughs> yes. Um, I didn't know what, what this movie was going to, how it was going to come out. Um, I just thought, okay, I'll make, a f I'll make my first film. And just like everybody else and then I'll get the experience and I'll be able to move forward and make another one and do it better um, but after we screened it at a few places and had the feedback I realized that people weren't calling it a movie anymore they were they were saying it was an experience and, or, or an activation and so now I'm like okay people are being something's happening when people watch this film so I'm, I'm not calling it a movie uh, I'm calling it the three magic words experience mm -hmm. now so I hope you're ready for an experience when you watch it yeah um you bet i am <laughs> <laughs> i really believe very strongly into activationism i meet i meet a lot of activators these days and it's like we're all activating each other and it's way more powerful than just saying we're just we're just uh, meeting there's really something transforming as we're all of us doing our magic yeah. these videos i feel are activators as i'm on the juicy tour your movie is an activator as we are um singing our song yeah. it's activating as we have activated ourselves 
themselves it activates others doesn't it absolutely and and, and what it's doing i think is more than i could have ever asked for i mean yeah. you you never know what you're going to do when you, when you make a film so i'm just so i'm just feel blessed and i'm so grateful yeah. that people are being moved by it and uh i think that the best way to the best way to to you know to change people their idea to in, to inspire them in in transformational media is to connect with something in their heart mm -hmm. that knows their connection that knows their connection to nature and to the universe and to the planet earth because we 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 have that inside us mm -hmm. so i think transformational media um that's where we're going with 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 ins inspirational and enlightening uh, films yay <laughs> did you, did you see? isn't that awesome there's so many beautiful projects and things coming out to the world and this is definitely one of them thank you for thank you. having the courage to step out there and 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 play your music thank you thank you for doing what you're doing i'm just so happy that there's angels like you that are going over across the planet <laughs> and spreading message your message you. is so important and uh I just want to honor you for that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> uh, this is the three magic words. Guys, I send you much, much love, my beautiful co-creators from LA. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>